Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is educational code for this round 144 and the problem is typical interview problem. So let's quickly see what the problem states. The problem simply states that uh, you have a very big string that is like f b it is made up of only f and b's and how the how the string is made is suppose if you have a number sequence like one two three four five six etc whenever a number is divisible by three they append f to the string whenever a number is divisible by five they append b to the string and six is divisible by three right they append f to the string and if a number is divisible by both three and both five if it is divisible they will append f first and then b first so a big string has been generated which is infinitely long and what they asked you is they will give you an input string the input string will also contain only fb and F fb characters it can be ffb or fff anything like that it can be a character now our job is to check whether this input string is a substring of the uh, this infinitely long mega string or not that is generated by uh, if uh, it is divisible by 3, divisible by 5, I told you earlier, right? That's all. What is a substring? It is a continuous set of characters. So if it, if you have a string like Malai, uh, LA is a substring of it. The continuous set of characters, it matches, right? So you need to check whether this string is matched by this or not. Now, how do we check this? We need to, we don't need, have to because uh, since they told it is divisible by 3, it is divisible by 5, it is divisible by 3 and 5, we are pretty sure that the pattern might repeat. So for example, what I did is I took for like first 50 characters and checked whether the pattern repeats or not. First we got FB, FFB, FFB, then FB, FFB, FFB, then FB, FFB, FFB like that. How do you check whether it's a substring or not? The substring, the input string can contain at max only 10 characters, okay? So you can normally brute force it also. So you can check whether the first set of, suppose the input string is FBF, you can check whether the first string is FBF or not. Suppose let's say the input string is FFBF. You take the first four characters, that is FBFF. Is it a matching? No. BFFB. It is matching? No. Now FFBF. It is matching yes so you can go up till uh, you can go to a place until the value actually repeats so here i see that until it's the seventh element the value repeats so i'll just iterate through that now uh, to see the code first what i'm doing is i'm generating this if it is divisible by three uh, master is the original string name i'm appending f then i am appending b if it is both divisible by three and five i'll append f and b together then uh, i equal to 0 to 8 means i am iterating through the master string and i am checking whether the master string substring that is from 0 to the input size whether it is matching with the input or not input string or not then from 1 to the input string size whether it is input uh, string or not so you just have to iterate it blindly and uh, that's all it's very simple but where everyone got wrong or you may get wrong is since you saw the k value is at max 10 the k value is at max 10 you might have directly took uh, the first 10 characters of it and directly matched with this so you have to actually um, generate a set of like uh, 20 or 30 numbers then you can match it or you need to put it like a circle and match so that's the only thing it's a very simple problem and see you in the next video